Welcome back to another video. For today, I will be beginning my skincare basics. If you want to know what this video is all about, just keep on watching. For the longest time, I have been conceptualizing on this idea of creating a series mostly about skincare. Disclaimer though, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an expert on skincare, but this is my know-how and how I have um, studied or did my research throughout the years when I was trying to create the perfect skincare routine for me. People would think that when they create a skincare routine, they only need three, which is cleanse, tone, and moisturize. I'm here to tell you that, sorry, that is not enough. You have to do this five steps. First, you cleanse. Second, you exfoliate. Third, you tone. Fourth, moisturize. And then, of course, you have to protect your skin. So now let's go to cleansers. How do you choose cleansers? What do I get? Is there a specific brand that I should go for? Is there a specific ingredient that I have to go for? Now, let me tell you this. Before you pick up any foaming cleanser out there, you have to know your skin type. Yes, very, very important. Because you have to match the needs of your skin with a cleanse cleanser that you're going to purchase. Now, I don't have oily combination skin the whole year sometimes my skin goes even more dry on certain times and that is why you have to cater on your specific skincare problem at the specific time what works for you now will not work for you in the long run the main tip that i can share to you that will work generally for everybody is don't go for cleansers that create too much foam Cleansers that have too much foam actually strip out a lot of the moisture from your skin and it's going to just worsen the state of your skin. The second step is exfoliate. Now why did I include this in this 5 basic skincare routine? Well, most people forget to do it and they don't think that it's an essential part of their skincare routine. That is completely wrong. Exfoliating does not harm your skin, it's actually helping your skin. Our skin regenerates every 28 days and if you don't exfoliate or remove that, it will just stay on top. Manual exfoliation sometimes is needed because you have to remove that dead skin on top. And once you remove the dead skin on top, it will just be easy for the new skin to resurface. If you're a person who is very sensitive to um, manual exfoliators like microbeads, I would suggest you go for um, chemical exfoliators like AHA. When you exfoliate, make sure to do it at least once or twice a week. The third step would be toning. Now, why do we need to tone? What is so important about toning that is an essential step? Now, toning your skin not only restores the balance of the pH of your skin, it helps you close the open pores. That is very, very important. I have learned by mistake with this. You open your pores, make sure you close them right back up. Let's go to step number four. Step number four is moisturizing. Now, there are a lot of moisturizers out there. And sometimes people think that moisturizing is not really needed, especially for girls who have oily combination skin. I'm sorry to tell your girls, even if you have oily skin and if you have or oily combination skin, you have to moisturize. Sometimes the reason why our skin produces a lot of sebum or oil is because our skin is dehydrated. There's no moisture found in it and our, our skin would think, hey, I need moisture out there. Your skin will produce a copious amount of oil just to compensate for the dryness that it's actually experiencing. What I can suggest is the different types of texture of moisturizer that you're going to need. If you have dry skin, it would be better if you get a heavier cream that will stay on your skin longer and will keep your skin moisturized the whole day. For people who have oily combination skin, you can choose from a gel type to a lotion type something that is a little bit more liquid in texture gel types work best for people who have oily skin because the gel types just absorbs onto your skin so quickly and they're so lightweight that you won't even know that you had moisturizer on moisturization and last step that I have to emphasize is of course protect your skin some people like me actually like me think that you don't need to protect your skin you don't need SPF a lot of Filipinos do not do this two or three years before 
I have to admit it, I do not think too much sun exposure will just also harm your skin. When you go out for the day, make sure to have a little bit of SPF on, at least a minimal amount of SPF 15. Luckily, a lot of uh, foundation bases or BB creams have this already. So let's recap the steps that you have to do. First, cleanse. Second, you exfoliate. Third, you tone. Fourth, you moisturize. And fifth, you apply protection. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.